Is this on? Hello, everybody. Hello, cast of 9 to 5 The Musical at the Montville Barn. I got to say something. Number one, I'm at work, so I hope the phone doesn't ring or somebody walked through the door. It's just because it's going to fuck it up. Number two, do not watch this video in front of any type of children or frigid people because I will probably drop some F-bombs. And number three, and the most important, the last time I did a little video about a show was uh, when you guys did a course line, because you know why? I'll tell you why. Because there's the pressure. You know what I mean? I'll come see my show and do a video. It's like, I gotta be inspired. If I am not inspired, I can't do the fucking video. So I haven't been doing the videos. Do you know what I mean? But Stella has got her groove back thanks to your production. I'm gonna say, I fucking loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you right now, there was this one lady, right? I, I was the really loud cackler and laugher, you know, and I screamed a lot, like I woo wooed like Vicki Gumbelson, and um, this is one lady, like, she was like two rows in front of me, right? She like turned around and like gave me like a Bleh. look, like shut the fuck up. I was like, fuck you, bitch. I'm telling you, you had a tough crowd. I don't know if the crowd there is always like that, but I'm t you know, it's a little bit of an older crowd and they don't like to go bananas. Do you know what I mean? They don't like to go bananas. And I like to go bananas if I'm feeling it. And I was feeling it because you people were feeling it. I'm so serious. Number one, the band, rock and roll the band. Band. That fucking band, your band that plays in your show is so good. I could not get over it. I was in my seat. I was shaking it. I was shaking it. And the sound and the light people, like that's like, this is, listen, this is not an easy show. This is not an easy show. You guys did really great. I love the lighting. It was like not like overdone. It was just like totally just fit. And okay, so let me break it down, Cass. Let me break it first, number one. My, the favorite thing, the most, the thing I like the most about community theater is the ensemble, as I call them, because um, I don't know what it is about them, but like I always fixate, and I really enjoyed everybody, but there are two breakouts, and everybody else, please don't freak out, because you're, I loved you, I loved every single person in this show, I fucking loved it, you could tell by my laughter, you could tell by my, my screams that I loved it, and I loved everybody, but I gotta say the ensemble's my favorite, but there are two breakout stars, there are two breakout stars, um, First of all, what is her name? Claudine. At a girl. At a girl. I fucking love you, At a girl. And if I ever see you someplace, I will only refer to you as At a girl. So if some weirdo comes up, it's me. And then the number, the other one that I, girl, this girl is feeling it the whole show, the whole show, top to bottom, beginning to top. And I don't know your name because I don't know. I really don't. I don't know anybody. Listen to me. I don't know your name, but I know where you were. Okay. Curtain call. Stage right. All the way at the end. The blonde hair girl. I loved you and I cannot wait for you to come back on stage. Okay. Let me break it down the way I do Nancy. Nancy, 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 Nancy. Okay, Nancy, I loved your performance. I loved it. I'm going to tell you why I loved it because you weren't trying to be listening to me. You were not pulling. You were not pulling from Lily Tomlin. Do you know what I mean? You were not pulling from Lily Tomlin. You like made this character so like heartwarming and lovable. You know what I mean? Instead of like bitter and disgruntled because it's like the obvious. Do you know what I'm talking about? I really, you were, you had, you had my heart, girl. You have my heart. Number two, who's number two in no particular order? Number two, fucking Judy Burnley. Fuck you. You can sing your motherfucking ass off, girl. You can sing your ass off. I was like, <sighs> you sang I Got Goosebumps. And Dora Lee, the Dora Lee Rhodes of, of, I'm telling you, girl, you had that accent down. You had that accent down. And you know what you made her? You made the character your own without being like, I'm going to imitate Dolly Parton. In fact, none of you, none of you broads imitated anybody. And I fucking loved it. You people, you're sick. And I just might make it work. That song, I like, the goosebumps, 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 goosebumps. I was like grabbing the people's knees of the, of the people next to me. Like it was that, I loved it. Absolutely so good, Mr. Hart. Mr. Franklin Hart. I don't even know where to begin. You're such a douchebag. I loved it. You were douchey, but lovable. Like, you, it's a difficult role to play. Oh my God, Roz. I don't even know you, Roz. I don't even know you, girl. But I want to know you. You are so 
I couldn't. I couldn't handle any, like every time you opened up your mouth, I was, I was giggling. I'm, no, I'm your girl, Roz. I am your girl up on the desk, up on the desk, Roz. That's what I'm going to call you, up on the desk, Roz. I am your girl. Do you feel me? You are so great. I really, you know, everybody, every, the little kid with the joint, it's like, what? I forgot that that part was in the movie. I forgot about it. And then he whipped out the joint and I said to my friend, did he just pull out a spliff? It's like one of my, it was like one of my favorite little moments of the show is when you pulled out the spliff and then you doubled and did all the choreography. You rocked it out, man. You, you really did. Everybody was just so really good. The guy that played opposite Violet, I don't know what your character's name, I want to say your character's name might be Joe. I'm rewriting the script. Your name is now Joe. If it's not Joe, your character's name is now Joe. Okay, so just everybody in the cast refer to him as Joe. Claudia, when you're giving notes, Joe. Um, Joe, you got a fucking great voice, dude. You can sing your ass off as well. You were so great. You guys had like such great chemistry together. Show is hard. It did not drag. Considering all those fucking scene changes you people had, that shit moved. It like moved. It flowed. The bam was like, bam, lights up. That fucking beast and the stoppers and all that, it seriously flowed and it could have been, listen to me, you guys, it could have been a fucking disaster. It could have been like these really long scene changes. You know, you know how, you know how the old people are. You know how the old people are. It's like they gotta go to the bathroom. You should see the line of intermission. It's like on another level. Um, but you know what? Everybody in that audience, whether they wanted to, had we all had a great time. We all had a great time. I loved it so much. And I wish, here's my regret. Uh, Claudia, like I, I, I told you, I regret not getting your email earlier. I'm telling you why, girl, because I would have come back. I would have brought like more of my friends. I would have brought like my parents. My cousins live in Boot, and I would have like wrangled them all up to come. But I didn't know. It's just, I was just busy. And the fact that I got there, the fact that I even came was just because. My friend Lauren said, do you want to go see 9 to 5 where we saw a chorus line? They're doing 9 to 5. I was like, yeah, I do. I was like, let's go. When is it? She's like, tomorrow. I was like, all right, if you can get tickets, let's go. And we went, and I'm so glad that I did. I'm so glad that I did. And I just wanted to say, like, enjoy the rest of the run of your show. Um, uh, uh, I, I said, don't listen, listen to me. Listen to me. There are three characters. I forgot three actors. I have to, I have to mention that the, the not nice husband with the stash. The um, Mrs. Hart, and what's his name? Mr. Tinsworthy. Like, I don't know if you guys were on stage. I just remember your little bit parts. I, uh, what are you doing backstage? Do you have to come out? Claudia, please let them come out and watch the show. If, 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 don't, don't, don't keep them trapped back there. I hope that you are not trapped back there backstage. Concession stand. Listen to me, concession stand. I did not purchase concessions. I brought my own. I know. I, I mean, I personally didn't, but my friend did. She's a mom. You know how, you know how like moms are. They're like, oh, you're going to the movie. Shove some candy in your bag and go. So I didn't do concessions, but I perused. I perused. And I saw that you had some very designer M&Ms, Reese's peanut butter cups, the whole shit. So... Uh, well, I've been saying fuck the whole video. So anyway, it doesn't really matter. I wanted, I loved it. I loved your show. You know, I loved it. You were feeling it. I was feeling it. And um, don't think because the old people don't laugh that you're not like being funny and you're not being awesome because you really, really, really are. I loved it. I loved it so much. I made one of these fucking video things for you. Mwah.